Oh my dear, if I'm ice and you a fire, would you douse this golden embers? If I spoke without a sound, would you hear? I am A and you are F. When we collide, we become one. Together, we bring down the walls. tragic in and of itself. I mean, people's private lives should not be splashed all over social media. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Social media isn't to be blamed here. Someone hits the send button. That's who you should blame. See, what I'm saying is social media shouldn't be... And I said social media isn't to be blamed. Guys, I am still here. Stop bickering. Give me the story already, please. She said we are bickering. How are you bickering? Perhaps she sees us like old people. Are we old? Oh. Maybe that's how she sees us. Oh my word, you guys are hilarious. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my God. When I know you would catch me. With you, I am stronger. The highest walls are the walls we build ourselves, but we don't know. So hold my hands and see through. Well, my parents and my parents were friends. They have been friends since the university days. She was an only child, brought up with love and care, protected from the moment she caught her first cry. She got married right after her youth service year. First guy she ever dated. Her picture perfect life was all set until life threw her a curveball. Her husband suddenly dies after a brief illness. <laughs> she was broken, lost, confused. Her parents couldn't help her. No one could bring her out of that deep, dark ravine she had fallen into. Then her childhood friend returned from the U.S. where he's lived for many years. That was another curveball. <laughs> he knew the right things to say to pull her out of the ravine. You know, and it was like the sun had risen again in her life. She could smile, she could leave. She could make plans for the future. She could make plans for the future. Hmm. Then a momentary lapse of judgment and reason. She gave up herself and became pregnant for her childhood friend. So this begs the question, how long after a spouse dies should one, I don't know, start dating? There's no consensus here. Yeah, but some people feel like the dead should hold the living hostage. Especially when the living happens to be a woman. And there are those who say that a period of time should be set aside to mourn the dead. And it doesn't matter if it's by a woman or a man. <sighs> what a story. <clears throat> oh my love. What is that? Mm. Years don't last forever. When I know you would catch me. With you, I am stronger. The highest walls are the walls we build ourselves, but we don't know. So hold my hands and see through this invisible you know, wall. This, no one stops to consider the mental health of the woman in question. Like, this is someone that just lost the love of her life and is on a journey from that trauma 
She finds solace in the arms of another man and society is saying she should have waited for what, a year to infinity? Like, I don't get it. Hey, society, good or bad, is judgmental and prescriptive. I mean, there are certain rules we're expected to live by. Some reading, some unwritten. Some we like, some we don't. Mm -hmm. But society is particularly cruel to women. I'm very sure the waiting period would have been shorter for a bereaved man. In fact, I'm very sure that if the man jumped back on the horse right after the cemetery, no one would say a word. Mm -mm. I don't agree. Decency is not a question of gender. Honey, what world have you been living in? Everything in life is about gender. I hear you. However, I do feel that most women need to chill on certain things. A lot of women, and I don't want to say feminists, are working so hard to tell the world that they hate how God created them. Yes, I mean, there must be a reason he created us differently. Making everything a sparring match between manhood and womanhood is self-hate. Honey, you plan to sleep tonight, right? Would you douse this gold in embers if I spoke without a sound? Would you hear? I am a and yeah, but not now. I mean, right now, I just want to hold you. Okay? Not sleeping. Bring down the swamp. Bring down the swallows.